One interesting fact here that I do like is look at the amount of soldiers he has. 741. I have 614. Uh, oh, lovely. Lovely timing. A lot more in quantity than quality, which is a good sign. And I do know that the pikemen, the silver shield pikemen, are in abnormally large units. So I'm assuming he's brought quite a lot of those. Let's go ahead and say gulf. And start our deployment. Alright. So if he's brought a lot of infantry like I think he will, I'm actually going to deploy a little wonky to just screw with him. Um, if he's brought a lot of... i got to get all my hotkeys sorted out. Oh dear. Um, if he's brought as many... What's my skirmish key set to? E. It has been quite a while since I've played this game online. I haven't been messing with hotkeys. But anyway, as I was trying to say, if he has brought a lot of infantry, this is going to go really, really smooth. Just because if you look at my composition... Oh, no, 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 no. Um... My archers... Oh, shoot. Okay, this is going to be laggy. As F. Alright. So, what I'm trying to say is my archers will rip to shreds his infantry. And that sounds really weird, but Silver Shield pikemen have some very tiny little shields. They're almost cute. So they do tend to die very, very quickly against archers. Which, conveniently, I have a lot of. My scythe chariots, I'm just going to kind of sit out here on their own for now. I'm almost trying to tempt him into going after them, because this is going to be one of the most visible portions of my army. In fact, I'm going to scoot these guys back a little. See if we can start it up here. Yeah, just like I thought. Alright, so let's check out upgrades. Uh, looks like probably silver, 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 silver. Okay, so he's got five silver, silver of those. These guys are probably gold defense, if I can think like him enough. His archers appear to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So those are probably gold gold he has when he has the typical 6 of them. So I'm assuming that's all his army, just off the top of my head as far as monetary value goes. So let's go ahead and hard group my, my guys here. And get them scooting over in this general direction. That should work okay. And I'm actually going to send my chariots way out over here. I almost want to prompt his cataphracts into attacking me, but I do want to make sure I'm way out of archer range, because these are scythe chariots. I'm very used to working with the Britain's chariots units, which don't run amok. One thing that I am noticing is not taking these guys out of phalanx to move them, so he's probably not going to be the strongest micromanager. Looking at the way his archers are grouped, he probably doesn't have too much experience skirmishing. So that's what I want to try to do. His pikes have popped up, so he's probably going to turn around. Yep, he's pivoting. He's moving everything as a block, which means he's got them all grouped, most likely, especially since he's got them pivoting. It is possible to pivot them and move them as a group uh, without, without putting them in a group, but it is much more difficult and much more time-consuming. So I'm going to assume that he's got them grouped. Um, I'm going to pause for now and wait till we come back to some action. It does look like we have a grand total of two people in the lobby. Let's see who joins. Hello, this is Illyrian here, going to play some Rome Total War today. Tried a little recording yesterday, but uh, nobody seemed to want to play me. So we're back again today, see if this works out. I'm uh, going to go ahead and make a game here, 15k CWB 1v1, two players on normal scale. And I'll come back to you once we find someone. It's the lag spike of joinage. Hello. Let's see. Hi. Hey. Sup. Do you know? CWB rules. Let's see here. See if he knows these rules. Um, it'll be really, really lovely if he does, because then I don't have to explain them. And it usually takes a little while to type all them out, and 
people who've played this game before online uh, with CWB rules. When somebody doesn't know CWB, it takes like oh, a good two minutes to time all out, so let's hope he knows them. Or maybe hope that he doesn't know them so I can tell all my lovely viewers. Oh goodness. <laughs> and a lot more than just the one with two horse archers. Alright, you know what? I don't want to type, so I'm just going to say... And no, it's just don't spam, and we'll be cool. I type cool funny because I'm awesome like that. All right, well, let's see. What am I feeling today? I am fe your mom. Uh, let's see here. Um, he's going for the good old silly usids, so. How about we go for some Apontas? Go for some Eastern on Eastern action here. Apontas, no chariots. What does this guy look like? Against the Seleucids, I'm not a huge fan of that army, honestly. Monarch Heavy Cavalry is pretty cool, though. Alright, well, I think we're going to need some Sithid chariots here. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want to put him in my general's unit, though. Um, Alright, so Cappadocians aren't going to hold up terribly well against... Um, against uh, the chariots or the... Um, goodness, I can't words today. Or the... Uh, the Cataphracts, there we are. The cataphracts that I'm sure he's going to bring, but they do have good charges. Um, off the top of my head, it's the same charge bonus, so not a huge advantage. I'm just going to buff their defense and try to use them in conjunction with the chariots. We don't have any elite archers, which is a little annoying, but I'm going to grab some bowmen here. I am going to personally follow CWB rules, though I'm not going to expect that he does. I'm going to grab all six of my archers, and we're going to see if we can't take down his infantry and his chariots without them getting into my cavalry. So basically I've got to hope that my, what's going to end up being crappy infantry line can hold out for a while. Let's get, hmm... Alright, so I think the best option is just going to be to buff these guys to high hell. And, let's see. Get a shield or two. Sicilian pirates are actually pretty cool. A pretty powerful missile. But I do love me some Thracian warriors. They're mostly going to be for kicks and giggles, so I'm not sure they're actually going to be very effective, but... Okay. They're, uh, the thing I like about them is... Okay, never mind. I thought these guys had two hit points. What am I thinking of that has the two hit points? I'm not sure. But, either way, they're not half bad, so... I'll just use them as an infantry screen or flanking force if I can. Honestly, I don't really need those. So let's see if I can't get some more pikes, because those guys are going to be my real hitting force. Um, then if we get... this unit of phalanx pikemen just sitting out front be soaking soaking up some goodies. I'm sure I can't afford anything else, but I just gotta double check. I know the archers won't work, and experience is way much, 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 much but bigger. Alright, so he is getting all of his money spent. Uh, let's go ahead and pause, and I'll bring you back once we get to the battle. Okay, just looking at how he's organizing his cavalry here. 
Um, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. I'm trying to make sure I'm keeping myself out of his archer range. Okay, he's scooting his archers. Okay, he's just uh, pushed them into loose, so I'm going to make sure I'm out of range. I don't want to chance anything. Basically, I see no reason why I shouldn't just walk around him. Make him put his back to my units that are already here. Actually, I want to run this. See if I can force him into doing something. Anything? No? Okay. So he's not going to make snap decisions. But he's also completely ignoring the fact that I'm quite handedly flanking him right now. Which, frankly, is strange. Okay, now he's moving. Alright, so I'm just going to screw with him. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to disorganize him. Because he feels very secure in his little bubble here. Okay, so that that's blatantly obvious. Um, he's charging his archers at my scythe chariots. And unless he wants to melee me, I'm not about to go for that. Okay, so his attention is split right now. So I'm going to charge my my main force ahead here. Right now he's very disconjointed. He hasn't put his missiles on flaming mode, which frankly is strange. Alright, well... No, 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 no. That's what he wants me to do. I'm trying to get them out of there so they don't run amok. My archers... Okay, so he's trying to separate me, which is all fine and good, but... I have pike support, buddy. I have lots and lots of pike support. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish here. And I've managed to catch one of his units, and that's not what I wanted to do to my chariots. My micromanagement apparently sucks. I'm going to try to get these... not my general. Right there, you're going to get back in line. You're going to get back in line. I'm perfectly okay with targeting... oh, hello. Opportunity strikes. He's very strung out, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and pull you back again. Hopefully, hello. You're going to come back. You need to get away from your friends that are running amok. Pull you back on my army. Uh, you guys can pop your way out of Phalanx, please, and rejoin. You have been caught, which needs to not happen. I'm okay with my men shooting, even if they're not aiming at the best locations. Basically right now I'm going to try to move my chariots over to the right. No, okay, so we're just going to pull them back. His archers are probably about to get slaughtered. Let's see, you're already targeting the right unit. You can... Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Okay. Alright, so now we've got to the archer duel. Okay, you two need to spread out. start whittling down his infantry force a little bit. Why 
all of his units are very grouped, so I can do a lot of damage for minimal ammunition. Right, so we are going to try to push my side chariots up that way. Cappadocians, like I said, not the best. But they do their thing. Be shooting the archers. Can't reach any of the cataphracts. Let's see if he's not looking. Nope, he is. Okay. That's okay. I'm gonna pull. Pull the chariots back. Damn it. Got within range. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this turns out. This hasn't gone perfectly. Not gonna lie. I'm just going to try to freak him out here. Target his cataphract unit. Very high armor, yes. But I do have six gold gold archers shooting at it. So I'm just trying to make him react, which is exactly what I got. Unit has routed. Scoot my archers off to the right, along with my side chariots that just ran them up because I wasn't looking. Okay. Alright, well. Time to go. Try and keep my phalanx pikes alive. And right now, my archers are baked. Keep going, General. Keep going. Okay. Damn it. Nope, he's probably going to win this now. You need to get your pikes down, buddy. Nope, this isn't going well. I'll at the end of the row. I'd rather have his guys chasing me. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Nope. Now, oh, shoot. Nope, didn't keep the clicking up. Let me take guard off. Try to route them immediately. It's the only hook we have. Which isn't much. You need to put guard back on. You need to keep running. That'll do it. My uh, my side chariots were not used effectively. You go with an average defeat. Uh, I did get more kills than he did, but he had a lot more men deployed. I'm actually fairly happy with how he dealt with his archers, but I just was not watching my chariots close enough, and that's why I lost.